Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make a whole bunch of money in your very first season with just fishing. Now, since we don't get our rod until day 2, we need to spend our first day being productive in other ways. The first thing you're going to want to do is run around and forage everything you can find. That includes checking garbage cans. Sometimes there is some real treasure in those things. So the whole point of foraging was to collect as many items as you can find that give you energy. Therefore, anything that doesn't give you energy can simply be sold off or stored. Now the next thing you're going to want to do once you're done your foraging adventure is start chopping wood. You're going to want to collect 50 pieces. Now once you've collected your 50 pieces of wood, you're going to want to go ahead and go to your crafting menu and turn those into a chest. Which we will put right here on the dock and then I will put all my foraged stuff into it. Having this chest right here makes a huge difference on your fishing efficiency. It gets you a lot more money and helps you level up a lot faster. Do be careful not to put it into a walking path. People often walk down the middle here and that is not to your benefit. Make sure you tuck it away out of the walking path. On the start of day two is when you get the good news from Willy in the mail. He has a gift for you, it's a fishing rod. Before you run down there, run around, do a little bit more foraging. I found that it's worth it every morning to do a little bit of foraging, as without the extra items for energy, you can't fish for an entire day. So you need to collect things along the way to maximize your time spent fishing. But don't do too much of your time foraging, it cuts into your fishing profits. So upon arriving at the beach, you have this little cutscene, or we're not going to watch it, but you get the fishing rod. So at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and start fishing. Now it's very important to try and catch something with every cast, otherwise it's a waste of energy. It costs 7 to 8 energy per cast, so you want to be able to get some gold out of that energy. And as you collect things like driftwood and garbage, you actually want to hold on to those. Go ahead and throw them in your chest along with other things you don't have room for, there is potential to turn those into valuable stuff a little later on. I tend to just sit right here when I do my fishing. The ocean has good value of fish, and right here is close to both Willy and my chest, so it's the best use of time that I can come up with. Now, if you find your inventory getting full due to overload of fish, you can simply sell them to Willy right here for instant profit, and then you have the space again to catch more fish. I will change locations when I see the uh, whirlpool things like that. As long as I can reach them, it's worth your time to send a few casts out that way. If you can land in them. They simply give you a higher bite rate. You also want to be careful how you manage your inventory. You always want to make sure there's an empty space when you're fishing. Otherwise, if you catch a fish you haven't caught yet, you're going to have to throw something away and that's a waste of money. I like to try and sell all my stuff to Willy just before he closes. He's open from 9am till 5pm every day except Saturday. Now as it gets later in the day, you're going to want to start keeping an eye on your energy as it will start getting quite low. You can go all the way down to 1 before you become exhausted and lose energy the following day. So before you cast, make sure you have at least 9, 10 energy to avoid problems. Conveniently, you'll probably catch a lot of seaweed and that is actually a good source of energy itself. I usually fish till about midnight. That gives you enough time to get back, sell whatever you have to sell and go to bed before you become exhausted from staying out too late. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell all these fish and see how much money I made this first day. So I've leveled up once already leveled up twice already on one day and another 405 gold from the fish I sold after I sold the fish to Willy so that's about 1000 gold on just the first day. On days when it's raining like this you have an opportunity to catch the more valuable fish. You can catch the catfish in the river in the town and eels in the ocean. The catfish are pretty valuable, but they are a little bit harder to catch and a little bit more rare, so I don't really bother with them. If you want, you can. There's probably good money in it. Okay, just for fun, I took one cast into the river to see if I could catch a catfish. I hooked one, but there's no way I could catch it with the current rod at this current level of fishing, so don't bother just yet. 
and also now that my fishing skill is leveled up, I'm going to go ahead and buy the fiberglass rod conveniently for 1800 gold. And also while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to sell the few fish I caught this morning to buy some bait. I do think bait is worth it. It only costs 5 gold each to catch considerably more fish, so each one of those 5 gold turns into 30, 50, 100, 150 gold. So it's worth your time to buy some bait. You can see to my left there the sea monster is making a rare appearance. So as you can see, even leveling up a few times uh, to fishing level 3, I'm already catching a lot more high quality fish a lot faster, which means a lot more money for me already. Be very careful when you're low on energy and holding your fishing rod because one small misclick can exhaust you, which is what I've done, which really sucks. But on the bright side, I've come up with a clever idea. Instead of selling my fish for the next few days, I'm going to level up to level 5, at which point my fish can be worth 25% more and sell them all then. I am going to sell a few in the meantime, just to keep up on the money I need for bait and whatever. And I've now leveled up to level 3 and level 4. I can now make a recycling machine. It's the start of day 4. And for reasons I can't explain, I have not lost any energy due to exhaustion that I had yesterday. It's now the night of night 4, and I've leveled up to level 5, which means my fish are now worth 25% more, so I can start selling them again. So now it's time to see what all my fish in the past few days are worth, now that they're worth 25% more, starting with 3 gold. Now it... 5,800 and I still have a few more to sell so it's about 6,000 gold worth of fish in the last few days. And that number is growing a little bit every day as my fishing skill rises. So now that I'm at level 5 I'm actually going to hold off selling my fish again until I'm level 10. Because at that point they're worth 50% more again so that's 50% more profit. I'll sell a few in the meantime that way I can still buy bait. After the night of day 5, I'm now level 6. Now that I'm fishing level 6, I have the option to buy the Iridium Rod. I am however not going to do so because it holds no advantage in the first season, it doesn't allow me to catch anything new, and it's frankly just a waste of money at this point. It's also worth mentioning that as you're fishing, you want to try and catch every fish uh, perfectly without it going out its little bar, you get more experience that way, therefore you level up faster and therefore make money faster. Also, on Fridays, stock up on bait because Willie is closed on Saturdays and it really sucks to go through a day without bait. That happened to me and I really regret that. The night of the 7th, fittingly I've leveled up to level 7. And on the night of the 8th, I'm level 8. It's moving along a lot faster than I thought it would. Level 9 fishing on the night of the 10th, only one more level to go, should only take a few more days. Today is the 13th, the day of the egg festival, but I'm of course going to skip that and I'm actually going to try fishing in the lake by the mountain because I think there's actually better value of fish there. It's just further away from Willy and my chest which is why I don't usually fish there. And I've actually stopped casting into the bubbles that appear randomly everywhere. I notice that when I do, I do catch quite a few fish, but they're often silver quality, whereas my regular fishing always yields me gold quality now. So there it is, level 10 on the night of the 13th. It happened a lot faster than I thought, which is awesome because now I can start selling my fish every day for huge money. Now that my fishing skill is level 10, I'm going to sell all the fish I've caught so far and see what they've been worth. So after selling all the fish, it brings me up to just over 40,000 gold. So that's not a bad start for the first half of the season. Now as you can see here, you can actually make almost 8,000 gold a day in just your first season with the right fish. I've actually moved my fishing venture to the lake by the mines lately. Uh, it gives me quite a bit more gold. In the ocean I was making about 4,000 gold a day. 
Up in the lake, I'm making about 6,000 on average. If luck is on my side, I can make almost 8,000 gold. So that's pretty considerable. Today was a productive day. 52 fish, 2 emeralds, and 2 diamonds from the treasure chest from fishing. That should be worth a few bucks. Yep, almost 9,000 gold for that day. That's doing pretty good. It is now the 20th of spring. I'm up to just under 80,000 gold, so I'm doing pretty well. If I was to keep this strategy up, I would make about 135,000 gold in just the first season. I am, however, going to change up my strategy and start working towards a new video I've got an idea for. So I'm going to end this one here, but I think I about covered what you need to do in order to make all that gold. Keep on fishing. If you do it a little bit better than I did, I'm sure you can make over 150,000 gold. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Like or subscribe if you like this video. If anyone knows if this playground can do anything, leave a comment below.